beginning with the regeneration that resulted in the fourth doctor, each successive regeneration reveals a bit more about the mystery of the act. Planet of the Spiders shows viewers that one Time Lord can help another by giving the process, a little push. This act of, gifting, regenerative energy is later expanded upon in Mordrin Undead and Let's Kill Hitler. Both these stories take Choja's, push, one step further by suggesting that regenerations can be outright gifted from one being to another. The, Choja push, is also tweaked a bit for the Doctor's fourth regeneration. In Logopolis the audience is introduced to a kind of, mid-regeneration Doctor, a being called, the Watcher, who exists between the fourth and fifth Doctors. He then merges with the dying fourth Doctor to start the regenerative process, and thus become the fifth. The notion that there is an existence for the Doctor within the act of regeneration is again mooted by the audio story Winter, which takes place almost entirely in that interim between incarnations. In Winter, the Doctor again merges with the Watcher to complete the transition into his next incarnation, though on this occasion the merging takes place inside the Doctor's mind between psychic recreations of both the Doctor and the echo of his future represented by the Watcher. Another, intra-regenerational, version of the Doctor is seen in the trial of a Time Lord. The story's chief antagonist is implied to be the Doctor between his 12th and 13th lives. A variation of this was seen in The Brink of Death, which depicts the 6th Doctor in his mind at the moment of regeneration, including a brief moment where the 7th Doctor, speaks, to the 6th before their voices merge as they state, it's far from being all over, marking a successful regeneration. Another novelty of the fourth regeneration is the introduction of the idea that a regeneration can fail, resulting in the Doctor's death. TV. Castro Valva. But if the fourth regeneration focuses on a physical crisis, the next three surely stress the mental hardships of the act. The fifth regeneration leads to a kind of mania never before experienced by the Doctor. It even shakes loose some criminal tendencies. TV. The Twin Dilemma. The next two regenerations cause temporary amnesia. TV. Time and the Rani. Doctor Who. This condition is particularly profound in the newly arrived Eighth Doctor, who completely forgets all of his past history for a number of hours. Additionally, complications like amnesia can be brought on by anesthesia, which holds chemical agents that interfere with regeneration. TV. Doctor Who. This regeneration also brings forth the notion that the Doctor actually dies prior to the metamorphosis of regeneration. The idea that the Doctor dies, even if briefly, is something that the Tenth Doctor later explains to Wilfred Mott in the first part of The End of Time. The Tenth Regeneration, whose after-effects are documented in The Christmas Invasion, introduces the notion that the regenerative cycle lasts for 15 hours. Within that window, the Doctor can lose body parts and yet regrow them as he does with a hand he loses in battle with a Psychorax. Both Invasion and the preceding mini-episode also add another wrinkle to the mythos of regeneration. They show that the Doctor needs to expel regenerative energy in the aftermath of a change, something seen again in the eleventh hour. The Doctor's twelfth regeneration is shown to be tangibly explosive, something that hadn't been explored by any previous BBC whales, or, for that matter, any, regeneration. That is, regenerative energy is depicted as being able to physically damage things. By the end of the cycle, the Doctor's TARDIS is itself in need of a regeneration. It is implied that this explosive regeneration is due to the Doctor delaying it while he traveled to see all his former companions for an unknown period of time, thus allowing that regenerative energy to build up. TV. The End of Time. The Eleventh Hour. Death of the Doctor. Aspects of both the ninth and tenth regenerations are invested in River Song's second regeneration, as seen in Let's Kill Hitler. River Song practically begs to be shot by Nazi soldiers immediately after regeneration so that she can re-trigger her explosive regenerative energy and hurt them. The Hitler regeneration also definitively proves that skin color can change through regeneration, though this had actually been practically settled long before by the blue option, seen in Romana's Destiny of the Daleks regeneration. The story Twice Upon a Time featured what the Twelfth Doctor called, a state of grace, during which the regenerating Time Lord is restored to full health for a period of time, but grows steadily weaker and must decide whether or not to regenerate once it's over. This, state of grace, allowed an explanation for the Tenth Doctor's ability to delay regeneration to visit all of his former companions, TV, the end of time, death of the Doctor and allowed for a story where the First Doctor and the Twelfth Doctor shared an adventure together that would help them determine whether or not they would regenerate or die.